A hundred years since the Great War began and countries that once fought each other are remembering together. Former foes and current allies gathered Sunday at the National Cathedral in Washington. Six embassies from both sides of the battle represented for a Remembrance Day service marking the centennial of the Great War. Cathedral Dean Gary Hall. I think there are two things that are important about bringing everybody together. One of them is we are bringing together everybody from both sides. So a hundred years later, Germans, Austrians, British and French can uh, pray together and remember that war uh, and, and be united in their memory of that war because they're no longer adversaries. Cathedrals and churches around the world began honoring veterans after the Great War. The National Cathedral has served as a special place to remember the fallen for over 50 years. The War Memorial Chapel in the cathedral was a gift from the British to Americans for their assistance in World War II and dedicated by Queen Elizabeth. It's home to the National Roll of Honor, a record of soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice. We are the dead. Short day ago, we lived felt dawn, saw sunset glow. The First World War was the bloodiest conflict in Canadian history, claiming over 60,000 lives. For the service, Canada was represented in Washington by Bishop of Toronto Philip Poole and Major General Nicholas Mattern, among others. Mattern says these nations have put old divisions away. Well, to me it was important that we have, you know, specifically our German partners there and our French, because what it means today, it means we're turning a page. That's exactly what it means, and they are, have suffered just the way we have. The service was a British embassy initiative. It brought in traditions from participating nations used to mark November 11th, and it included the reading of battlefront letters from French and German soldiers. Plus d'un millier de cadavres se tordaient là, déchiquetés, charriés, les uns sur les autres. A ray of light through a hundred years of history. But Remembrance Day ceremonies are also a time to reflect on conflicts that are not so far away, says British Major General Buster Howes. Well, my generation now better understands the things our grandfathers uh, well recognized. And I have been to dozens and dozens of funerals of young men and my friends. And so what it means for me personally, usually during the two minutes of silence, is that an awful lot of faces roll somewhere in a ticker tape in my mind of friends that I've lost. Jessica Murphy, Sun News, Washington.